As you know, we have a very special guest with us tonight. He, he appears in the movie as Billy the Kid. And this was the man that introduced me uh, to the Three Stooges on his morning television show. And he also made me cry. The morning he came on and said, today is the last show. That's what I said. Uh, Please join me in welcoming Johnny Ginger. Thank you. Good evening. Leave it there. sent me a half a calendar. <laughs> Last year I was working in uh, St. Pete Beach, Florida, and I was standing around the pool, and some lady was admiring my alligator shoes, and I wasn't wearing any shoes. <laughs> it's terrible getting up there. I think... Um, well, let's see, Monday, the 16th of June, I'm going to be 74 years old. Thank you. Thank you. I knew I was going to live this long. I'd have taken better care of myself when I was younger. And I think it's, you know, it's all in the genes. My mom, 96 years old, and she started walking five miles a day when she was about 20 years old. And she is 96 years old today and we don't know where the hell she is. <laughs> right on the wall there. <laughs> but I'm, I'm happy that I'm in such good health. Every night before I go to bed, I get down on my hands and knees and I pray that I can get up again. <laughs> get a hitch in that get along. And I eat well, I eat good. Uh, I don't do drugs. I don't do any kind of drugs at all. Uh, at my age, I, I get the same effect if I just stand up real quick. <laughs> don't need that stuff. Recently, I uh, went to the hospital, Henry Ford, and I had surgery. I had a torn rotator cuff. And surgery came out really well. I'm doing pretty good. But I don't know if your folks are like me. I hate the waiting rooms. This, this is driving nuts. They say, Mr. Ginger, your appointment will be at 10.13. Sure. <laughs> Not 10 after or 15 after, 10.13. You know you ain't gonna get in there that time. 
And I got to know my doctor. His name is Kyle Anderson. And when I first started searching around for a surgeon, I said, who's the best one? Kyle Anderson. He is the surgeon for the Lions. I said, I don't want a veterinarian. I want a regular doctor. Don't do that. So I got to know Kyle. He took me to a couple of the Lions games, and we hung out. So one night, I asked him, I said, how would you like to come over to the house for dinner? Oh, he said, that would be a pleasure. What time do you usually eat dinner? I said, usually about uh, 6 o'clock. He got there at quarter six, and I made him sit on the porch till seven o'clock. <laughs> I, uh, I am single. I've been married four times. Well, I shouldn't say I'm single, it's, uh, I'm lonely. <laughs> you get this age, it's lonely. Four times. I, uh, I thought, you know, uh, I should wait around for Miss Wright. Everybody says, you know, you wait long enough and you'll find Miss Wright. I did find Miss Wright. And uh, I didn't know her first name was always. <laughs> it's true, that's true. And my kids always said, Dad, why do you get married so many times? I was crazy about marriage is I, I love wedding cake. <laughs> Kids said, you know you buy that? I don't know, why didn't you tell me earlier? The last one I married wasn't too swift, and we didn't get along at all because uh, I have a, a quick mind, and she, not too good. I don't know how to describe it, but uh, it took her about an hour and a half to watch 60 Minutes. <laughs> not too swift, not too swift. A little bit about how I started in the business. I was six years old with my mom and dad and my brother, and uh, we were doing vaudeville. And I worked with a lot of people, which I'll be talking to you about a little bit later, and we're gonna have some questions from the audience to me that I can answer. But uh, the first time I worked in Michigan, it was at the Dearborn, in Dearborn, Michigan, at the old Gay Haven Supper Club. And uh, back then it meant different. It, <laughs> You couldn't call a club that today. It meant a haven for happiness and good times. And I opened for Bobby Darren. And this is, I think, 1953, something like that. And Bobby, right after that, come out with this big hit that I would like to sing for you now. You know what it is? You've been here before. <laughs> okay, Albert. Bring up the music way up. Wait. 